Is Sarasota the new Naples? Naples, Florida is a special and unique destination. Discerning buyers and tourists alike are especially drawn to Naples because all the city has to offer. It is famous for high-end shopping and very elite, high-priced, beautiful homes and many, many gated golf course neighborhoods. Now, Sarasota is equally special and unique. However, it has stayed a little under the radar until the past few years, and now it is quickly being discovered, and it was even named the number one place to retire. In this video, I will compare and contrast the two cities to show you why Sarasota is being referred to as the new Naples, so stick around. Hi everyone, I am Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Experts and Keller Williams Real Estate. Now I post new videos every week about life in Sarasota, specifically what it's like buying and selling and living in the area. If you find this information helpful, please subscribe and leave comments below. Now let's talk about Naples and Sarasota. Sarasota's location on a map makes it a top choice as Sarasota lies right along the Sarasota Bay and is home to four barrier islands that separate the bay from the Gulf of Mexico. We have Lido Key, Siesta Key, Longboat Key, and Anna Maria Island. South of Sarasota, you can find Fort Myers, which is about an hour and 15 minutes away, and Naples, which is approximately two hour drive. Now, north of Sarasota, you will find the real perk. It's close proximity to the Tampa Bay area. It is located less than one hour drive to Tampa and St. Pete. Now, why is this an added bonus for Sarasota? If you or your kids or grandkids love major league sports, then you're in luck because we have pro hockey, football, baseball, and ability to also go to many, many concerts and events. So Tampa Bay definitely brings a lot of activity to the area. And not to mention, Sarasota is only a two hour drive away from Disney World and other mini amusement parks in Orlando in Tampa. Now, Naples does not have that perk. If residents of Naples want to see a live event, they must travel to the East Coast, to Miami, or north to Tampa Bay. Sarasota offers so much more things to do in a shorter distance than Naples. Naples is located just on the southern tip of the west coast of Florida, and it is just miles away from the famous Everglades and Alligator Alley. For many, this private location is ideal and very prestigious. Now, one fun fact between Sarasota and Naples, historically, Sarasota's geographic location tends to avoid hurricanes much more than Naples. Now, there's many theories on why, but I challenge you to Google it for yourself and let us know what you find in the comments below. So what about the airports? To piggyback on location, a good question to ask yourself when deciding between these two cities is, will you travel frequently while living in Sarasota or Naples? And or will you have frequent visitors from long distance friends and family? The Sarasota area has numerous opportunities with multiple airports. For instance, SRQ Airport is right here in Sarasota in Bradenton. It's less than 30 minute drive for most of us that live in the area. But we also have easy access access to Tampa International Airport. It's about an hour drive unless there's a lot of traffic and they have access to flights all over the world. Also, one of the smaller airports is Clearwater St. Pete and it's about a 40, 45 minute drive from Sarasota and it has great options for domestic flights. Also, we have Punta Gorda Airport and now this is about a 90 minute drive from Sarasota, but there are some options there too. When flying in and out of the Naples area, you have a couple options. You have Fort Myers Airport, which is approximately 45 to 50 minutes. It is an international airport with lots of commercial flights. You also could get to Punta Gorda Airport in about an hour's time. Now the one airport that is located in Naples is a private airport. It is located just five miles from the center of Naples. While this is convenient, this airport has no commercial flights. It only serves the private and chartered flights, which there are many of those. So for many, that is a great advantage. When comparing the beaches between Sarasota and Naples, both have miles and miles of white sand beaches. However, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Sarasota's Siesta Key has ranked on a multitude of best beach lists. In fact, it was even declared the number one beach in the US and Sarasota area beaches are much more accessible and the parking is free. 
Beaches near Naples do lack a little parking and can cost up to $6 an hour when visiting. So I have to always give a little nod to the Sarasota beaches. Now don't be mistaken, Naples has its fair share of beautiful sand. In comparison, Naples beaches have much better for shelling, but Sarasota beaches have such beautiful soft powdery sand. Now the Naples beaches are probably considered a little bit better for fishing, but Sarasota beaches have a lot of natural habitat around them as well. And as I said, free parking. When comparing the downtown areas, downtown Naples is much different than downtown Sarasota. Downtown Naples is free of high rise condo buildings or towering hotels with rooftop bars and restaurants. Now, if you're looking for a quiet location, then Naples is a far better choice. Restaurants in Naples do close down a little earlier than they do here in Sarasota, and there are not as many late night bars for cocktails and music. Now, if you're looking for great shopping, downtown Naples on Fifth Avenue South is definitely sure to please. This picturesque downtown features so many upscale clothing stores, home goods, anything that you're looking for you can find in Naples downtown and it is just a beautiful place to shop. Sarasota downtown district has a small town feel but with big city amenities. Some say it's a little bit more cosmopolitan than metropolitan. What makes the downtown area really unique is the centralized location and its proximity to everything. Sarasota's world-renowned beaches are easily a quick bike ride or car ride away. Main Street is only three and a half miles to Lido Key, which is home to St. Armand's Circle, and it's only six miles to Siesta Key. With its tropical charm, rich culture, proximity to beaches, and historical significance, it's no wonder so many people love calling downtown Sarasota home. Now, Sarasota is an art enthusiast dream. In fact, the downtown area is considered to be the heart of the city's cultural scene and is known for numerous art galleries, museums, festivals, and artisans. You can see a world-class opera at Sarasota Opera House, or admire the art at the Art Center Sarasota, or even take in a fantastic show at Florida Studio Theater. There's many great dining facilities, shopping. There's a lot of diversity downtown, and there is nice mix of old and new as well. So downtown Sarasota, I think, is quite special. As for the arts in Naples, well, it does pale a little bit in comparison with Sarasota, in that it only has one community theater in the downtown area. Now there's still fun to be had in Naples. They do have the Philharmonic Center for the Arts and that has been a mainstay of the Naples cultural scene. It offers performances, dance, classical, popular music, a little bit of everything. Also there's a number of galleries and museums in Naples. Now if we want to talk luxury though, both Naples and Sarasota have luxury condos and lavish homes. Both cities have champion golf courses, fine dining, and yacht clubs. But in the luxury category, Naples has Sarasota beat by a landslide. Naples' median home price is definitely 20 to 30 percent higher than Sarasota. It has more multi-million dollar homes and a number of condos and single family homes over $10 million. Many celebrities and pro athletes call Naples home. In other words, if you're looking for a luxurious lifestyle, look no further than Naples. Sarasota is more likely to be dubbed as casual elegance than luxury. Now, if you love golf though, Naples is a mega for golf enthusiasts. So much so though, that some residents believe that golf courses are becoming a thing in the past and there's almost too many of them. As the demographics are slowly changing in Naples, many young people with families are not seeing the need for that any more golf courses in the area and they would like to see more parks, zoos, and nature trails. Now if you've been watching any of my videos in the past, you know that Sarasota has a plethora of parks, lakes, trails, and nature preserves as well as wetlands and natural ecosystems. Most notably we have the Mayaka State Park, the Legacy Trail, and many, many other places to enjoy family fun. Although Naples is ranked one of the highest for golfing communities, Sarasota does have a multitude of great golf courses as well, such as University Park Country Club, TPC Prestanzia, Cerro Bay Country Club, and the Founders Club. So there's lots of options in Sarasota as well. Now, when it comes to real estate, Naples is one
one of the wealthiest cities in the United States with the sixth highest per capita income in America and the second highest proportion of millionaires per capita in the US. There are a number of gated neighborhoods with luxurious homes behind those gates. And so as I talk about the differences between Sarasota and Naples, this is definitely one of the biggest difference. The median home price in Naples is well over a million dollars, where the median home price in Sarasota is still a little below 600,000. The cost of Sarasota though is quickly rising and affordability is dropping. So a lot of people are comparing Sarasota and Naples. And are we becoming the new Naples? When considering making a move to the Florida Gulf Coast, there's no doubt most people are comparing us. And in the past, many, many snowbirds and empty nesters dreamed of living in Naples. However, regularly now, I am getting calls from people all the time that said they have been to Naples, love the area, but just feel like Sarasota might be a little bit more affordable and have a few more options. So although I don't believe we will ever take over the posh lifestyle you will find in Naples, I find many reasons why so many people are reaching out and comparing the two. So what are your thoughts? Is Sarasota the new Naples? I'd love to hear your comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate it. And if I can be of any help with your home search or your move to the area, please give me a call. I love helping. And until next time, take care.